Good afternoon. I'm Donna Black, your Buford Area YPD Director, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our Buford Area YPD Virtual Black History Program. First, I want to extend my personal gratitude to all of you for the cards, words of encouragement, prayers, and support during the loss of my father. Thank you for your kindness. Now, let me sketch out our order of worship for our Buford Area YPD Virtual Black History Program. Our protocol will be set by Sister Alana Douglas. The doxology will be done by Campbell Chapel's Young Voices of Praise. The call to worship will be done with Sister Jasmary Smith reading the leader lines and Brother Daniel Lee reading the people's lines. Our opening hymn will be hymn number 571, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Campbell Chapel's Young Voices of Praise will lead us in the singing of this hymn. Our invocation will be provided by Sister Sadia Hayward. Our scripture lesson will be read by Sister Nia Taylor. Following the reading of our scriptures, we will install our new officers. They are Sister Alana Douglas from Campbell Chapel, President, Brother Grant Guess from Queen Chapel, Vice President. We are sending out special prayers for Brother Grant and his family. Brother Grant lost his grandfather just a few days ago. Sister Nia Taylor, Campbell Chapel, Recording Secretary. Sister Sadia Hayward, Mount Pisgah, Treasurer. Sister Jasmine Smith, Grace Chapel, Worship Chairperson. Brother Daniel Lee, Mount Zion Roundo, Parliamentarian. After the installation ceremony, we had a special treat. The congregations of the Puke area will share with us Black history tributes and talent. After the Black history tributes, we will worship the Lord through giving. I will miss in a round of Kahoot. After Kahoot, we will have remarks from our leaders. Sister Vinnie Mitchell, Buford Area WMS President. Sister Sandra Anderson, SED. WMS President and Buford Area Consultant. Then our own presiding elder, Reverend Philip C. Anderson. We will close our program with the missionary benediction. Now let's worship God. Greetings, my name is Alana Douglas. I'm the president-elect for the Beaufort Area YPD. I'm also a member of Camp Chapel AME Church located in Bluffton, South Carolina. My pastor is the Reverend Dr. John R. Black and it is my task to set the protocol. To Bishop Samuel L. Green, Senior Pre Presiding Prelate of the 7th Episcopal District of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. To Supervisor Phyllis N. Green, to Sister Sandra Anderson, 7th Episcopal District WMS President and Beaufort Area Consultant to Dr. Isla McFadden, 7th Episcopal District YPD Director, to Sister Myra Hanley Singleton, South Carolina Conference Branch WMS President, to Sister Tara Simmons, South Carolina Conference Branch YPD Leader, to Sister Venny Mitchell, Beaufort Area WMS President, to our very own Sister Donna Black, Beaufort Area YPD Director, to Sister Trina Thompson, Thompson Beaufort Area Past YPD Director to the pastors of the Beaufort District and their spouses, to the local YPD directors and helpers, to local YPD officers, all YPDers, visitors, members, and friends. It is my pleasure to greet each of you in the joy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Call to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within our gates, O Jerusalem. For a day and night course is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because the house of the Lord our God, I will speak that good. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in the house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwell. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in, in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. We make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth and praises.
is our God where we met thee. Blessed our hearts, drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadow beneath thy hands, may we forever sin. True to our God, true to our name, till Dear Heavenly Father, we come once again just to tell you thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Just thank you. Thank you for giving us strength. Thank you for transporting us everywhere safely. Thank you for still being alive. Thank you for giving us life. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for the bishop. Thank you for the elder. Thank you for the YPDs. We just want to tell you thank you. We cannot say thank you enough. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll be reading Galatians 6, 1 through 10. Dear brothers and sisters, if any believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help the, that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same tempta temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens and in this way obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done, and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. Those who are taught the word of God should, prove, should, should provide for the, their teachers, sharing all good things with them. Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever you have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. God's word for God's people. And now it's time for our installation service. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, let us enter into this service of installation for our newly elected officers. Dearly beloved, you have been called by your fellow YPDers to serve in the official capacity as an officer of the Young People's Division of the Women's Missionary Society. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly pledge your faithful support of the YPD of the African Methodist Episcopal Church? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Now, will you repeat after me as you make your commitment before God and these people? I, state your name, will give of my best to the master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been elected. I, Alana Douglas, will give my best to the master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been elected. I, Grant Alexander Guest, will give of my best to the master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been elected. I, Nia Taylor, will give of my best to the master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been elected. I, today, Hayward, will give of my best of the ma master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been elected. I, I, Jasmine Smith, will give all my best to the master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been elected. I, Daniel Lee, will give my best to the master as I work in the YPD office to which I have been selected. I, state your name, will give of my best 
to the YPD of the Beaufort area. I, Alana Douglas, will give my best to the YPD of the Beaufort area. I, Grant Alexander Guest, will give my best to the YPD of the Beaufort area. I, Mia Taylor, will give my best to the YPD of the Beaufort area. I, Sadea Haywood, will give my best to the YPD of the Beaufort area. I, Jasmine Smith, will give of my best to the YPD of the Beaufort area. I, Daniel Lee, will give my best to the YPD of the Beaufort area. Master, I state your name. Ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. Master, I, Alana Douglas, ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. Master, I, Grant Alexander Guest, ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. Master, I, Nia Taylor, ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. Master, I, Sadea Hayward, ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. Master, I, Jasmine Smith, ask, ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. Master, I, Daniel Lee, ask your strength to do the job as I grow, glow, and go for Christ. May we bow our heads in prayer. Oh God, as we observe this special installation service for the YPD, may it be a symbol of our love for you and your church. Oh God, may enthusiasm, cooperation, and loyalty be our passwords. Help us, Lord, not to fail in our duties as we strive to do your will. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Typically, Clergy, WMS, YPD directors, and the rest of the body comes forward to congratulate the newly elected officers. But in this virtual setting, we ask that you do congratulate them in the chat. Now we are at that point in the service that you've all been waiting for, our Black history tributes and talents. First, we have Brother Thomas Miles from Grace Chapel AME Church. His pastor is the Reverend Janine Smalls. His local YPD director is Sister Serena Miles. He will be reading the poem, Miracle of the Morning by Amanda Gorman. Brother Miles will also represent the Beaufort District at the SED Allen Little Star Talent Show. Hello, I am Thomas Jose Miles. I am a fourth grade student at Coastal Elementary School in Beaufort, South Carolina. I am a member of Grace Chapel AME Church, where Reverend Janine R. Small is the pastor. I want to thank our presiding elder, Reverend Anderson, in the Beaufort District for letting me represent our district. I'll be reading Miracle of Morning by Amanda Gorman. Amanda Gorman is the poet who delivered the poem, The Hill We Climb, at President Joe, Biden, at President Joe Biden's inauguration. Now I'll be reading Miracle by Morning by Amanda Gorman. I thought I awakened to a world in mourning, heavy clouds crowding, a society storming, but there's something different on this golden morning, something magical in the sunlight, wide and warming. I see a dad with a shoulder taking a jog, a bright-eyed girl chasing her dog. A grandma on her porch fingers her rosaries. She grins as her young neighbor brings her groceries. While we might feel small, separate, and all alone, our people have never been more tightly tethered because the question isn't if we, if we was unknown, but how we was unknown together. So on this meaningful morn, we mourn and we mend. Like light, we can't be broken, even when we bend. As one, we will defeat both despair and decease. We stand with healthcare heroes and all employees, with families, libraries, waiters, schools, artists, 
businesses, restaurants, and hospitals hit hardest. We ignite not in the light, but in the lack, therefore, for it is our loss that we truly learn to love. In this chaos, we will discover clarity. In suffering, we must find spirituality. It is our grief that gives us our gratitude. So show us how to find hope if we ever shall lose it. So don't ignore the pain. Give it a purpose. Use it. Read children's book. Dance along to the DJ music. Know that this distance, know that this, that, knowing that this distance will make our hearts grow fonder. From a wave of woes, our world will emerge stronger. We'll observe how the burden braved by humankind are also the moments that make us humankind. Let each John find us courageous, brought closer, heating the line before the fight is over. When this end, we'll smile sweetly, finally seeing contestant times will become the best of beings. Thank you. Next, we have Sister Vontiera Kelly from Spring Hill AME Church. Her pastor is the Reverend Dr. Barbara Ling Terry. Her local YPD director is Sister Mary Ann Sumter. She will be reciting the poem, Hey Black Child, by Yuseni Eugene Perkins. My name is Vontiera Kelly, and I'll be bringing you a Black History Month poem. Hey, Black child, do you know who you are, who you really are? Do you know who you can be, what you want to be, if you try to be what you can be? Hey, Black child, do you know where you're going, where you're really going? Do you know you can learn what you want to learn if you try to learn what you can learn? Hey, Black child, do you know you're strong? I mean, really strong. Do you know you can do what you want to do if you try to do what you can do? Hey, black child, be who you can be, learn what you must learn, do what you can do, and tomorrow your nation will be what you want it to be. Now, we have Sister Tania Cunningham, who will give a tribute to Brother Patrick Lawyer. Sister Cunningham is a member of St. Stephen, where Reverend L. Vanessa Johnson is the pastor, and Sister Tanisha Cunningham is the local YPD director. Good morning. Brother Patrick Lawyer, 56 years old. Attended original, I'm sorry, attended original high school and graduated with the class of 1982. He later received a social degree in engineering at Nielsen Electronic Institute. He also studied at General Motors, where he was one of the first computer trained technicians, and he was also a volunteer firefighter. He drove, I'm sorry, he drove 18 wheelers for 10 years. After, gradu after driving truck, Brother Lawyer went to work at the Georgia Port. Back in 1978, while he was in high school, he started doing heating and air and decided to start his own business, which lasted almost 22 years. Brother Lawyer is a hard worker, but most importantly, he's a devoted man of God and also a father and a husband. He has been married for 25 years to Tracy Lawyer, where he shared four children, three sons, one who passed away, and one daughter, and seven grandchildren. Although Brother Lawyer has only been a member of St. Stephen's AME for one year, he's, he's all, he has always been a, an AME. His home church is Mount Zion AME in Garden, South Carolina, and before coming to St. Stephen's, he attended a church called Temple of Love, where he was a musician. Some experiences that made Brother Lawyer who he is today is how he started as a beginner and all the jobs he achieved the highest rank. By doing this, it helps him remain humble and work hard to take leadership and become a leader. When he was asked what was his greatest accomplishment, he was proud to say his marriage. The advice Brother Lawyer would give to a young person about business leadership and success is to listen. He said that if you want to be a good leader, you have to be a good listener. And don't accept the word no, because no only means not right now. You might set goals. You must set goals you have. I'm sorry. You must set goals so that you can achieve. St. Stephen salutes you, Brother Lawyer, and expresses our gratitude for everything you have done and will do moving forward. 
Next, we have Sister Raquel Robinson from St. John Cottageville, where Reverend Shirley Pinckney is the pastor and Sister Sylvia Singleton is the local YPD director. She will be singing Going Up Yonder. We have Sister Taylor Johnson from St. Stephen, where Reverend L. Vanessa Johnson is the pastor, and Sister Tanisha Cunningham is the local YPD director. Taylor is also the local YPD president. She will be playing Lift Every Voice and Sing on her clarinet. Thank you. 
Next, we have Sister Jasmary Smith. She is a member of Grace Chapel, where Reverend Janine Smalls is the pastor, and Sister Serena Miles is the local YPD director. She will be singing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Sister Lyric Saxon is a member of Campbell Chapel, where Reverend Dr. John R. Black is her pastor, and Sister Anna Bolden is the local YPD director. She will be reading the poem, Phenomenal Woman, by Maya Angelou. Pretty woman wondering where my circle lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say, it's the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, and the curl of my lips. I am a woman, phenomenal, phenomenal woman, that's me. I walk into a room just as cool as you please. And to a man, the fellows stand or fall down to their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes, the flash of my teeth, the swing in my legs, and the joy in my feet. I am a woman, phenomenal, phenomenal woman, that's me. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say it's the arch of my back, the sun in my smile, the rod of my breast and the grace of my style. I am a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand why my head's not bowed. I don't jump or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say, it's the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hair, and the need of my care, cause I am a woman. Phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me.
Camille Washington is a member of Allen Chapel, where Reverend Keith Parker is the pastor and Sister Darlene Rumpf is the local YPD director. Sister Washington will be doing a tribute poem to Ruby Bridges. Hi, my name is Camille Washington and I attend Allen Chapel AME Church and I will be doing a tribute poem to Ruby Bridges. When Ruby came to school that day in the town of New Orleans, she walked through walls of hatred and strife, but she held up her head for her precious young life meant so much more than what could be seen. You see, that year an all white school had been forced to integrate and Ruby was chosen to break down the walls to open equality's gates. But for one whole year, Ruby attended her school, yet sat entirely alone. Because many white parents in that town decided to keep their children at home. All the teachers refused to teach in the school where Ruby had gone. Only Mrs. Henry agreed to teach her, so Ruby sat in her class alone. Day by day, Ruby displayed her courage, and she never let herself cry. She would march like a little soldier and embark her family's pride. The Ruby Bridges' mother taught her daughter how to pray against the crowd's hate and prejudice as she walked for freedom's way. Finally, the protests began to subside and God's truth did go marching on. Thank you. Our final presentation is Brother Richard Coleman III, who will give a tribute to Brother Melvin Hopkins. Brother Coleman is a member of St. Stephen, where Reverend L. Vanessa Johnson is the pastor and Sister Tanisha Cunningham is a local YPD director. Brother Melvin Hopkins is 72. He started in construction in his earlier days. His work experience includes driving trucks for the post office for 24 and a half years. He is skilled at construction and, and repairing particulars. Brother Hopkins has been a dedicated member of St. Stephen's for 24 years and active on trustees board and is always willing to lend a helping hand. The experiences that helped made Brother Hopkins who he is today is created to being a hard worker, is credited to being a hard worker doing the things he likes doing, watching others construct and create, as well as teaching others how to build, fix and doing odds and ends jobs. Brother Hopkins is known for being the handyman for this church, his family members and the persons in the community needing his assistance. His handiwork can be seen throughout St. Stephen, the China cabinet in the fellowship hall, library wall cabinet in the multi-purpose room, and the garment cabinet in the church's kitchen area, and the design for the front of St. Stephen's church. All of Summit Brothers Melvin Hard's work can be seen in front of St. Stephen's church all throughout. Two particularly important things Brother Hopkins is most proud of having achieved in his lifetime are being happy and being able to use his hands. Brother Hopkins said, I am not a talkative person. However, the advice he will give to the young people today about business, about leadership, about success, about serving the church, the community, etc and making the most of the opportunities that might be given. Sit back and watch folks that have come ahead of them. Ask questions, take in knowledge and pass it on. Then someone can learn from you and they pass it on to another. 
Each one teach one African-American proverb, Brother Melvin Hopkins. We acknowledge and salute you as we celebrate black history. Thank you for being a dedicated role model. Black history is forever. Now, let's take a moment to celebrate our participants. You may use the chat to show them some love. It is now giving time. You can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. Today, we offer two methods of giving. You may give via the Cash App or mail us a check. To give using the Cash App, you may scan the QR code or give to dollar sign B L A C K D O N N A 1. If you would like to give by check, make your check payable to the Beaufort Area YPD and mail it to Beaufort Area YPD 1720 Promenade Lane, Bluffton, South Carolina 29909. The recommended offering is $10 for adults and five for our YPDers. Please know that your gift of any amount will be well received and dedicated to youth ministry. Now enjoy Campbell Chapel's Young Voices of Praise. As you prepare your offering, they are singing Wade in the Water. At the end of the giving period, the Young Voices of Praise will lead us in our operatory. All things come of thee, O Lord. It's time to play a round of cahoots. We ask that the YPDers please get your devices. We will have the game up momentarily. All right, players. Do you see the pin? The personal identification number? Please type in the number on your cahoots app to participate. Thank you, Victoria G. The, the game pin is one. Four, two, four, zero, two. We will now begin.
who started the AME Church? Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Martin Luther King, Richard Allen. Who started the AME Church? Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Martin Luther King, Richard Allen. Richard Allen. Okay, V. Smalls is ahead. Camille W. Second, Nia, third. There will be a first, second, and third prize. Next. Which month do we celebrate the founder of the AME Church? January, February, March, April. Which month do we celebrate the founder of the AME Church? Amen, February. Oh, okay. <laughs> you better be glad I'm not playing. Be small, Sandra and Victoria G. All right, next. When was Richard Allen born? February 14th, 1760, April 1st, 1975, August 7th, 1957, December 25th, 1776. When was Richard Allen born? Hmm. Ooh. All right, February 14th, 1760. Oh, <laughs> okay. V Smalls, first place. Thomas, second place. Grant Guest, third. Next. True or false? True. Reverend Clemente Pinckney was once a member of the Buford District. True or false? Reverend Clemente Pinckney was once a member of the Buford District. True or false? True. Amen. Okay, they're standing. All right, let's see what happens next. Vicki Smalls, T Fire Thomas and Grant Guess. Oh, okay, next. The AME Church began in what city? Charleston, Bluffton, Philadelphia, Columbia. Hmm. Where did the AME Church begin? What city? Philadelphia. Very good. All right. Who's on the leaderboard? B. Smalls, Thomas, and Grant Guess. One, two, three. True or false? Richard Allen was married to Sally Allen. True or false? False. Her name is Sarah. All right. Let's see who's on the leaderboard now. Okay. Oh, Chris, V. Smalls, Thomas. Yeah, you brushed that one. True or false? The logo for the AME church includes a blacksmith's anvil. True or false? Hmm. True. Okay, Chris, fire, Chris is on top. V Smalls, second, Thomas is third. True or false? Congressman Jim Clyburn is a member of the AME Church. True or false? Congressman Clyburn is a member of the AME Church. True, true. He's a nice man. All right, fire Chris first place, Grant guest second place, Sandra third place. Next. The early AME church ministered to the citizens of Philadelphia during the what plague? COVID-19 pandemic, black plague, candy cane plague, yellow fever plague. The early AME church ministered to the citizens of Philadelphia during the what plague? COVID-19, Black Plague, 
candy cane plague, yellow fever plague, Chris, first place, Grant guest second, Victoria G third. Next, quiz. What is the oldest African-American denomination? The AME Church, the First African Baptist Church, the Presbyterian Church, the London Church. <laughs> All right, the AME Church is the oldest African-American denomination. Okay. Oh, let's see. Victoria G is third place. Grant Guess, second place. Chris is first. All right. Please email me at, yes. Uh, yeah, I've got to, yeah, put it in the chat so I can contact you to give you your prizes. All right. Well, I want to thank the YPDers, the local directors, the parents, and all components who are in attendance. Thank you for your vigorous participation in the preparation for the YPD retreat. Sister Trina Johnson, I thank you. You're my, um, my guide. And uh, I want to thank and acknowledge Sister Vinnie Mitchell, Sister Tara Simmons, Sister Myra, and any visitors that we may have online. At this time, uh, I want to thank you for su supporting our YPDers in the chat. We're making a recording. So I, can, I would like for the winners also of the cahoots to please contact me with your contact information so I can give you your prizes now. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, at this time, we'll hear, have words from Sister Vinnie Mitchell. Good afternoon, everyone. I greet you in the joy of just knowing who Jesus is. Right now, I'm just kind of full and overjoyed at this great program. Sister Donna talked to me earlier today and told me, you know, it's because of you we're having this program. But a lot of times when people are sleeping, my mind is just wondering. And we had a conversation and we talked about it. And then they, I just mentioned it. And she and her Holy Ghost took the baton and they just started going with it. But this has been so awesome. And before I go any further, I know that protocol has been established, but I must acknowledge our dynamic duo that leads the Buford District, Elder and Sister Anderson. And then also for the second um, dynamic duo, and that is Sister Black and her Holy Ghost speaker, um, Reverend Black. He has been there right beside her while we made different transitions at the banks and all of that and um, on the meeting. So um, we do appreciate that because we are always better together to the young people, starting from Miles, who set the tone for this program today to the very last participant and to the Kahoot playing. This has been so great. We are challenged, but we're not defeated. Um, they have come up with innovative and creative ways. And this has been the best Black history program that I have seen. And we have let our YPDers be great and great they were. And we're going to continue to support them. We're going to watch them grow, glow, and continue to go for Christ at any time, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to be out there so I can see them and touch them. And I know that's kind of almost impossible, but I'm ready. And I feel pretty sure that none of these children said no when they were asked to do. And it was a job well done. Thank you, Sister Black. Thank you, Reverend Black. Thank you for all of the participants. And I feel like also when I saw the installation of office service ceremony, that was just, I mean, everything was just good. I'm almost at a loss for words, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, great program. May God continue to bless, keep, and use you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Benny. Thank you. Uh, Sister Tara is on another Zoom call, and I don't believe Sister Myra is online, but so at this time, we will hear have words from uh, Sister Sandra Anderson. Well, I would like to ditto just what Sister Vinnie said. I am not going to repeat all of it. 
because it was too excellent. And she went through, it was a thorough, thank you. And I need to turn your sound. That's what happens when you have two in the same house. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, Sister Dollar, you just went over the hill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and we are looking forward to more and more to come in the future. These young people, we I think I saw some a comment about talent. We do have some talent here in the Buford District. And I am so proud that they're being showcased today and looking forward to more even in the future. If you chase, and I wanted this to be directed to the young people, if you chase the wrong thing, you'll never end up with the right thing. So I want to encourage you to always look back from whence you've come, your past, and look at how your forefathers did things. And you will be able to grow. That's a springboard for you. And you will be able to grow and not hit the hard knocks that they went through. You will be able to, God will be able to use you and carry you on to higher heights. I always encourage you as young people to know that there are two items, a thermostat and a thermometer. I want you to always be the thermostat and not the thermometer. What do I tell you? The thermostat is the one that sets the control. The thermometer takes on the control. You set the control for your own life. You have a destiny and I want you to walk into that destiny. Don't allow somebody to pull you off course that God cannot use you. God will use you when you set your own destiny, when you are your own thermostat and he will use you and bless you. God bless you. God bless all of the people who are on the Zoom. And I pray that you will allow God to use you this point forward. Thank you, Sister Donna. Have a good one. Thank you, Sister Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. And now we'll hear a few words from our presiding elder. Good evening. Good afternoon. The Bishop Samuel Lawrence Green, Senior, the presiding prelate of the Seventh Episcopal District, Supervisor Phyllis Green, and to the Seventh Episcopal District WMS President, Sister Sandra Anderson, and the Buford District Consultant, to uh, Sister Bennett Mitchell, the WMS President, and to um, uh, Donald Black, the YPD director of the Buford District, all of the YPDs, all the components leaders of the Buford District, to the pastors of the Buford District, uh, and to the members and all that support the Buford District and make the Buford District the Buford District. I greet you in the absolute joy of Jesus Christ today. I'm just grateful to be a part of, of uh, this worship today and this installation for the uh, the YPD years and the uh, participants of the, the Black history. Uh, thank you, uh, Sister Black, uh, for your leadership. I wanna pause there and put a pen down and say to you, thank you how much you have put so much emphasis on um, uh, making sure that our young people are where they are and corralling them and keeping them in place and showing good leadership, excellent leadership. And uh, with the system of, uh, of uh, Dr. Dr. Black with you, uh, you all have brought excellent leadership to the to the district in reference to our YPD. And I want to I want to thank you uh, for. I don't know if you can see what you have done. You have set up uh, uh, a a great thing here in the Buford District with our YPD. There's no telling where our YPD will go and what they will be because they are very talented and have have the have the 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 initiative to move forward and to do things, just good leadership to point them in the right direction. I want to thank you so much. And 
all that you have done and all that you I know you're going to do because you have what it takes to uh, to to stimulate uh, our young people and to point them in the right direction. And thank you so much, uh, uh, the Buford District, for their parents and everybody who play a role in the life of our young people. So, wow, I I am uh, I am so so happy to 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 view this and to witness today the 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 joy of our young people's being in place and and how you brought them forward and presented them and and how they participated in such a bold fashion. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, God bless you real good as we go forward. Uh, maybe uh, we are now, as I said, we're on the right road now. And uh, and thank the good Lord for, for you today. Uh, we, we, we want to say to all of the components of the Buford District, we love you and thank God for you. We're with you. We're working with you uh, in a way that we can assist you and be a blessing in any kind of way. You just make it known. Uh, we are in this together, and I want you to know that. And thank you. This today is an example when we do things together, how well and how everybody comes out a winner. So I just want to thank you today. Thank you so much. God bless you real good. And have a happy and uh, blessed uh, remainder Sunday afternoon. Thank you so much. God bless you. And now for the WMS benediction. If you'd like to greet each other, uh, you can unmute and start the video so we can greet each other if you'd like at this time. Gallery view. Yes, then we can see everyone. Thank you, everyone, for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Good job. Great success. Anybody else want to speak up? Say your name. No. Brother Walter Williams, very good, very good program, Sister Black. Donna. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sister Donna. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me, Sister Anderson? Sister Vanny. Yes, ma'am. Sister Donna. Yes, ma'am. I hear you. I want you to um, look at doing that Kahoot maybe quarterly and, and involve us on that. <laughs> Just for fun, you know, like a fun uh, night out or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe we'll be able to pick up more of our young people as well. And if you do it for us seniors, you'll pick up us too. <laughs> <laughs> if you, everyone will activate their cameras, we can all speak to one another. That would be wow. good, but I, I don't, they don't, I, they don't want us to see the rollers in the hair and all this good stuff, you know. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> all right, from Reverend Parker, Alan AME, I'd like to say great job, outstanding program. Congratulations to all of our young people and Sister Black. Keep up the good work. May God bless you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Reverend. A wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Thank you, sis. thank you, Sister Don. I'm coming from Darling Rump, Allen Chapel, and to my girl Camille. Great job, great job, and to all my other YP dears who were watching. Great job, guys. Thank you.
Good job, Sister Black. I know you have a proud of you today. Your eyes are grinding. Thank you, Sister Isaac. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, just want to say, you know, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Donna. Wonderful job for the YPDers and you. We love you, Gloria Thank you. Gatson. Thank you. All right, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God bless. God bless you. Amen. Great program. Thank you. Me and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> good, good afternoon. I'm a guest of the Miles family in Beaufort, and I want to say congratulations, hats off to you. And it's good when our children can bring the message to us and thank you to the chairman or the coordinator very nice program mary hayward buford south carolina and thank you ma'am thank you sister sister donna this is pat lewis sister donna Sister Benny and Sister Anderson, great program. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. We will now end the program. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.